Good morning, everyone. Um, got the Winter Slopes tournament this week. And this will be a rookie division video for this tournament. Um, there's a new ball out. And um, this ball is definitely a ball that's used in like, the higher division tournaments. Um, definitely Masters. Um, can be used as an expert as well on certain holes, but the big thing is the wind resistance. So, um, if you have a 15 mile an hour wind um, in an expert or master tournament, this will knock that wind down to like 7 or 8 miles an hour. So, really useful in the higher level tournaments, but um, as you can see, it doesn't have any, any power number or anything like that. So, um, definitely... If you plan on playing expert or master tournaments later on, definitely a good ball to look into. Um, not really something I'd recommend for a rookie or pro. Um, but like I said, if you're planning on moving up and playing expert or definitely master in the future, um, definitely something to consider. So for rookie, I'll do my two bags like this. Pretty much the same thing except extra mile in one and quarterback in the other. And I'll try to play with Quasars, um, since the extra mile is a little bit higher level than most rookies will probably be, and same with the quarterback. So hole one is a par three. And we can try quarterback. Um, Kind of a tricky hole for the rookie division. So let's see. So we are in driver distance. And as you can sort of see with the ball guide, it's going to go pretty much all the way down to the hole just like this with no no spin so I'm gonna kinda try that I'm gonna put it right here um, do about four rings and a little bit of curl and see if see if that ball guide was accurate or not no not quite so you are going to need a little bit of topspin, um, probably two or three bars, um, to give yourself a chance to make the hole in one. Um, as you can see, easy birdie right there, um, but I didn't get it high enough up the slope to give it a chance for the hole in one, so looks like the ball guy is just a little bit glitchy in what I was showing. So, I'll let this guy hit his shot, and then I'll start forfeiting out. So, if you have a good backspin club, um, that's not a bad option. Um, I guess I'm really just come down to like quarterback or Thor's hammer if you have Thor's hammer and rookie. Um, but you're most likely not gonna make a hole in one doing that backspin shot. So hole two it's gonna be tricky and rookie. Um, we'll try to use quarterback. I'm not sure if we'll be able to or not though. Maybe a little bit too close. So let's see. So let's try a Marlin ball. So 
see, if we go with a Marlin ball, and three top spin, one left spin, and we're at minimum club. So I'm gonna go about three and a half rings. It's not too bad there. Um, a little bit more top spin would be nice. Um, trying to think what rookie level clubs would have more top spin than a quarterback. Definitely extra mile. Um, this is definitely an option right here as well. It just requires hitting perfect ball. Um, you could also use a Titan and a quarterback. And land on a little rough patch up there um, where the snow is. Um, you could just land the ball there on the fly. So, definitely another option there. Probably a little bit safer, actually. Especially if you use a quarterback. So, kind of a tricky putt here, so I do what a lot of other people do, and I'll kind of just barely be on the left edge of the hole, and then I'll try to either hit perfect or great to the right. So, I got perfect. And when you aim on the left edge of the hole like that, you should be able to hit great to the right and still make it on most putts. So, it's just a little trick that a lot of people a lot of people have come to use. So move on to hole three, which should be should be the first par five. Um, I don't recall which hole it is though. Okay, so quarterback should be fine. Viper should be fine. Um, let's go with at least a katana. Um, I think we will need some, yeah, I think we will need some topspin, or some distance, to be able to get the ball to the green on the second shot. Um, I may, ahead and, I may go ahead and move up to a Titan, actually, because the second shot is pretty lengthy. So, good shot there. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try this with a Quasar. This will just be worst case scenario. So. so, four miles an hour wind. I think... 
So I got about eight or nine rings to the edge of the fairway. So I'm going to just kind of leave it where it is. I'm not going to use any overpower or anything like that. And see how close that gets. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So, looks like a Quasar with a quarterback on the drive. Um, as long as you don't overpower it, you don't have to worry about the, uh, you don't have to have any worries about going too far, so. We'll see how it looks for the second shot. Um, I think it should be alright, but we may have to overpower just a little bit. Yeah, so that's one thing you got to be conscious of on the second shot is those trees on the left are in play. So, um, it does reduce your chance of making albatross. But, okay. So, we're going to need to use like half of our overpower here, which is not ideal, but um, yeah, so if you just want to make this hole a lot easier on yourself, um, definitely use a, a Titan. Um, as you can see, it's still pretty easy to make the Eagle with a Quasar, so if you're low on balls or whatever. Um, definitely doable, but um, just a lot easier with the Titan. And um, even easier if you bring like a big dog for the second shot. You probably won't need to overpower it at all. Pretty decent start there for the first three holes. Got birdie, eagle, eagle. Um, trying to think of what the typical score would be for this course. I think... Ooh. Oops. <laughs> got a little careless there. Um, I think two of the par fives should be or sorry, two of the par fours should be pretty easy to eagle, so I think minus 14 will be the goal score. So par three. So we got our Viper. Let's go Navigator. I don't think we need much sight spin, so. Um, use the Navigator to reduce the wind a little bit. So, this hole is downhill, not too much from the rookie tees, yeah. um, but I'm going to probably play this even though I'm not at max club, I'm going to play it at the max numbers for the ring adjustment, so I'll set up something like that. And it's about 1.7 per ring, so two and a half rings or so. Let's see if that's any close at all. Hmm. Not bad at all. So I don't remember 
exactly what the rings or what the spin numbers are for um Viper level nine, but it looks like they're pretty pretty perfect for that shot. Um Guardian is also a really good option if you've got it. Um yeah. Sniper, Guardian, or Viper. Probably your three best options in that order. But I'm assuming most rookies don't have a sniper with enough backspin. I think you need at least level six or seven. <clears throat> so, easy birdie there. Um, definitely a chance to make the hole in one. Um, but not something I would expect to get. It's kind of a weird, oops, kind of a weird sloping green. Um, hole five. So, this is an interesting hole. Um, I think quarterback should be enough, especially in rookie. Um, but this hole will be a really good chance for an albatross, so... So, really, really good shot there. Um, I'm probably going to use a Titan here just to um, make sure that I can easily get over with the quarterback. I do want to go with the quarterback. Um, i go with three topspin. Um, I think most quarterbacks will have three topspin at least even the lower level ones. So, even when I pull it max over power, I got about five rings to the edge of the fairway. So I should be able to almost max over power this. And like I said, that's the main reason I want to use the quarterback on this hole. Um, you combine the accuracy and the curl, and it makes that shot really, really easy. So um, we'll set ourselves up with a, a really good chance to make albatross now. So, that's the same strategy I'll be using, um, the rough bump for this shot. You just gotta be, be careful not to leave it too short. So, there's minimum club, which is like 2 per ring, and max club, which is like 1.4. So, probably 1.8, if I was guessing. And let's go one top spin. Go one top spin, one right spin. And like I said, 1.8 per ring, so it's gonna be right at two and a half rings. And see if that's close or not. Oh, come on. So, 
so I'm not quite sure. Um, I think maybe just a little bit more topspin was all that needed, so I think I used one bar of topspin, so um, I think one and a half would have gotten me what I needed on that, so other than that, pretty darn close to the albatross there. So there's our third eagle. Like I said, we want to get five eagles um, per nine holes for a minus 14. So I'm still on pace for that. Almost almost got an extra one right there, but not quite. Okay, so hole number six. Part four. Mm. Let's go, Quasar. <coughs> so, definitely recommend quarterback for the drive here. <coughs> Just makes it really easy to, really easy to hit the fairway. So, I wouldn't recommend going this way for Ricky. Um, our opponent got really lucky there, but... Um, yeah, if you do land in the rougher bunker over here in Ricky, you're probably not going to have good enough clubs to to save yourself. So, um, it's two and a half topspin. And I am about there. I'm going to go the typical, I'll probably go four and a half rings. So that's four and a half. Slight right curl. And that should be just fine. Like I said, with the accuracy of the quarterback, um, you can probably hit great ball on either side and still be perfectly fine in the fairway as long as you do your setup right So, good shot there. And we should have a shot at making this. Um, kind of in the middle distance of the club. So, I'll probably play it's about two per ring. So, two per ring. Probably go ahead and go two and a half rings. Nah, so that's not gonna go in. But as you can see, pretty easy birdie. Um, 
Not many people are going to make eagle in that hole, so. Really, in rookie division, um, just making the typical score that most people will make. Um, I think so far we've made the typical score that um, you'd expect to make if you're playing really well. So, um, as long as you can get those scores, you'll be giving yourself a good chance to win. So, oops. So. As you can see, no one had higher than a minus 12 in our bracket, so minus 14 is definitely, definitely a good score. But I think easily doable, too. So, So this hole is going to be like the last par three. Um, not too difficult to get it close, but going to be very difficult to make it. So um, say pretty flat. So I'll probably play a typical wind adjustment. So let's try three backspin. spin and then about 1.6 per ring so I go three rings Let's see if that's any good or not mm. so with the tailwind pushing us like that um, from behind um that's probably why the ball um, went so much farther than it looked like it would. So I think I went three backspin, so I think f at least four. Probably put you pretty close to having a chance for the hole in one. Um, it's a hole eight. I think this is the one hole that we will need the extra mile on, so. We'll see. I also don't think I've used any uh, premium balls yet on any of the holes, so I think I'll probably use a Titan, if I was guessing. Eh, maybe not. Not sure why he's max overpowering this. I don't think that's necessary. I might be wrong. Ooh. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and use a Titan on this hole. Because I want to make this shot as easy as possible. So. Oops. So, so downhill, the shot's pretty far downhill, so it's probably going to travel about 4 miles an hour, which is 2 rings, so I should land about right there. So, as you can see, I'm going to need a little bit of curl. But I'm going to try to do this without any overpower at all. 
just so I can be as accurate as possible. Oh, that was a terrible bounce. Um, but as you can see, I, I landed pretty much as far um, down that fairway as I could. So um, the only better option, maybe, would be to try a big topper. Um, but that's kind of a little bit more risky just because the, the accuracy is so terrible. Um, but with the big topper, you would need to land, you wouldn't have to land as far down there, so. But still makeable right here. Um, I'm just going to aim kind of the left edge of the cup. And as long as they hit perfect ball, it should go in. So, like I said, I think I got pretty unlucky there with the bounce. It looked like the ball had plenty of momentum to get to the green. So hopefully that's not something that happens over and over, but I'm not sure if it always sticks like that or not. So hole nine. So this will probably be the second hole. Now I think both par fives. I have used the Titan actually. So big dog two point five per ring. And quarterback should be fine. So So I'm going to use three Titans this round, and then every other hole I use a Quasar or less. So with five, um, five total sets of nine, I would expect to use about 15 Titans, so not too bad, especially since you'll be winning um, some Titans and I think maybe some Kingmakers if you win, so or get top three or whatever, so I don't think 15 Titans is going to kill anyone, hopefully. Um, but if you don't have them, I think you can still get most of these holes without Titans. So, this hole, the drive, is crucial. So once again, I'll go three topspin. It's because I think most quarterbacks have at least three. And I'm not even going to get too aggressive. Aim out there like that. Go four and a half rings. And just a little bit of curl. And all I want to do is get down there, but most importantly, to be in the fairway. So, that's just fine. We should easily, easily be able to get to the green from there, I think. Not so easily. Yeah, so I still have some room there, so definitely may benefit you to work on that shot and um, get a little bit farther down the fairway. So I'm going to use most of my overpower here. And one backspin. A little bit of curl. Oh, no. So, unfortunately with the big dog's terrible accuracy, um, I'm going to have to hit perfect to make that. Or at least great. So, 
Um, as you can see, the, the drive is going to be crucial there. Um, getting as far down there on the drive as you can. Um, I thought from playing this hole in the past that it wasn't that important to get every single yard, but it looks like it is. So um, Definitely something to work on in your qualifying and opening rounds is um, getting as far down there as possible on the drive, but as safely as possible. Make sure you hit the fairway every time. So, Oh, wow. What a shot. So, as long as we hit perfect, we should still make this. So we got just a little bit of side wind. So I'll aim kind of center left. And like I said, we just gotta hit perfect. Oh, nope. So that won't go in. So a little disappointing there. Almost got the minus 14. Um but just need to work on the uh that T shot on hole number nine a little bit more. So, there you can see my scorecard, four eagles, um, really was hoping for that last one on number nine, but definitely not the end of the world, especially in the qualifying round. Um, you definitely want to get it both times in the weekend, but not that big a deal for the qualifier. Um, so, hope this video helps you guys out, and hope you have a good tournament. Good luck.